Welcome to Jail Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number 55 of EDC. Now this is the third module that is special diode. Now we are getting into the discussion of breakdown in, in our second video lecture. Here we are going to discuss about Gina breakdown. In our first video lecture we have discussed about avalanche breakdown, avalanche breakdown. Now in this video lecture we are going to study about Gina breakdown. Now look here carefully. Uh, to understand Gina breakdown there is couple of introductory points that I am going to discuss with you before get started with the Gina breakdown. Now look here carefully. In our normal diode case, take a normal diode case, this is your depletion width, this is your applied voltage, this is p-type, n-type, this is your depletion layer, okay, this is our normal diode, Sita Sada normal sa diode hai. Now, in this normal diode, we got, we used to got a, 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 our avalanche breakdown because with increment in reverse bias voltage our effective electric field was used to increased and that effective electric field will become responsible uh, for the um, gaining the kinetic energy of electron then electron will get collide with the lattice atoms to produce heat energy and that heat energy became responsible for the breakdown 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 and that breakdown will be called as avalanche breakdown but here what we are going to do a special thing we are going to do special thing we are going to decrease this depletion width to this extent sir ye depletion width to kafi decrease ho gaya yahan pe ha so we are going to decrease so kaise decrease hua ha look here carefully sir yahan pe aapne applied voltage mein koi variation to nahi kiya nahi nahi nah, i am not going to vary any kind of applied voltage any kind of uh, variation in applied voltage yahan pe jitna diya jata tha yahan pe bhi utna diya ja raha hai lekin wz decreases how this became sir how this decreases look here carefully we, we take a standard case of p k p type and n time and this is your depletion layer okay take this standard case now look here carefully if you if you increase the doping concentration at one side if you increase the doping concentration at one side the depletion layer at this side will decreases sir that means x p value decreases with increase in doping concentration from p to p plus absolutely absolutely so depletion layer towards p type will decreases if you increase the doping concentration from p to p plus similarly if you increase the doping concentration from n to n plus your xn value decreases with increase in uh, doping concentration from n to n plus if you increase the donor impurity at n type your doping concentration then your depletion width at this n type will decreases from the standard value this is decreases that means what we are seeing here if you if you convert from this p type if you convert from this p n to p plus and n plus तो फिर सर हमारे यहां पे दोनों डिक्रीज कर जाएंगे सर xp आल्सो डिक्रीजेस सर xn भी डिक्रीजेस विथ इंक्रीज इन डोपिंग कंसंट्रेशन फ्रॉम p प्लस एंड n प्लस फ्रॉम p2 p प्लस एंड n2 n प्लस आवर डिप्लेशन विड्थ योर डिप्लेशन विड्थ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर योर डिप्लेशन विड्थ wz डिक्रीजेस देन दैट ऑफ w देन दैट ऑफ w यू कैन सी हियर w से डिक्रीज कर जाता है Okay, now this diode, this special diode will be called as, this special diode will be called as Gina diode. Let's, uh, you understand this Gina diode ka construction? Now we'll get into the breakdown of the, uh, the breakdown in this Gina, Gina diode. Now look here carefully, only difference is there is the decrease in the value of depletion layer, the less value of depletion layer. That is the difference from this type. Now. Here I'm going to take a couple of, um, this is your avalanche diode and this is your Gina diode. Now we, we have this effective electric field value in both the cases. Now we are going to apply the reverse bias voltage in both the case same. So agar ye 10 amount may increase ho raha hai, ye bhi 10 amount may increase ho hai. So this numerator value increases simultaneously, increases uh, same value with the same value. The increment happens in numerator. So don't take this numbers personally, okay? I'm only here through the uh, concept of numbers, I'm going to explain you ki how this effective electric field became varied in case of Gina diode. So in order to make you understand this concept, I'm taking a help of numbers my dear friends to make you understand faster so please don't consider these numbers only consider the how the increment is happening so only consider in only 
take the consideration in the increment okay now look here carefully in avalanche diode we used to increase our effective electric field in you we are having wv increase hota hai uh, five amount mein but effective but our numerator value W से ज़्यादा इंक्रीज हो जाता है W से ज़्यादा इंक्रीज हो जाता है इन ऑर्डर टू डोमिनेट दिस डिनोमिनेटर वैल्यू इन ऑर्डर टू डोमिनेट दिस डिनोमिनेटर वैल्यू इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंक्रीज होता था बाय टू यूनिट बट इन आवर प्रीवियस रिवर्स रिवर्स बाइस केस नॉट इवन एवलेंच डायर इन आवर प्रीवियस रिवर्स बाइस केस आवर डब्ल्यू एंड योर न्यूमरेटर यूज टू इंक्रीज साइमल्टेनियसली टू मेक दिस इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कॉन्स्टेंट बट हियर इन एवलेंच केस वी यूज टू carry this effective electric field to uh, a large amount by varying this numerator a very large amount by varying this numerator by increasing it very large amount now what is the difference in zener diode look here carefully look here carefully in case of zener diode we are same amount of applied voltage is applying but our w w is increasing to one unit sir why sir who oh, sir i understand sir because our w z ka value is very much less than that of this w value that is why its increment is very less its increment is very less absolutely correct now by making this effective electric field 10 amount can you imagine it by making this effective electric field 10 amount that means yahan pe aapki effective electric field jab do ho raha tha yahan pe effective electric field became 10 units 10 units so that means what very strong electric field is there in case of zener diode now the very strong electric field will now listen to this it is a very important point now this very strong electric field will be there in case of zener diode then that of that of avalanche diode now this very very strong electric field became responsible to direct breakage of covalent bond now this very strong electric field is the only think only parameter will became responsible for the covalent bond direct breakage of covalent bond what sir in case of avalanche diode in case of avalanche diode this effective electric field is to responsible to increase the kinetic energy of electron and that kinetic energy uh, by gaining that kinetic energy electron will collide with the lattice atom and after the collision the heat energy that we evolve that heat energy became responsible for the breaking of covalent bond but here in case of zener diode you are saying that this effective electric field increment is only responsible for the like it direct ja ke covalent bond break kar deya kya हाँ 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 एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट सो इन रिवर्स बाइस केस वॉट एवर थिंग दैट वी हैव स्टडीड लुक यू केयरफुली वॉट एवर थिंग्स दैट वी हैव स्टडीड विथ इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड यू ड्रिफ्ट वेलासिटी इंक्रीजेस दैन कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इंक्रीजेस दैन हीट एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होता है दैन फ्रॉम दिस हीट एनर्जी वी यूज टू ब्रेक द कोवल एंड बॉन्ड नाउ हियर इज द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज दैर लुक या केयरफुली लुक या केयरफुली यहाँ पे क्या होता है मजेदार चीज़ लुक या केयरफुली इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इतना ज़्यादा हो जाता है इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ज़्यादा इतना हो जाता है यू डोंट नीड दी स्टेजेस यू डोंट नीड दी स्टेजेस डायरेक्ट आपका ब्रेकिंग ऑफ कोवेल एंड बॉन्ड हो जाता है ड्यू टू दिस इफेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन केस ऑफ जीनर डायोड इन केस ऑफ जीनर डायोड एवलेंच में ये नॉर्मली होता था थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स बट हियर इन केस ऑफ जीनर डायोड थ्री से डायरेक्ट सिक्स स्टेज को आता है You got this point, so do revise this point. If you couldn't understand, do rewind this video, pause this video, analyze with your friends, and do understand this concept. This is a very crucial concept. Okay, now what we can say here: Zener diode is only dependent on strong electric field, while avalanche breakdown, avalanche diode is dependent on thermal energy or heat energy change. Okay, now this is a very important point. Now let's move into. our next point here this formula is not in your syllabus not even this formula but the analysis from this formula is important what is this this is your electric field this is your doping concentration this is your breakdown voltage or zener voltage whatever that you can say so from this formula you can find out the zener voltage which will be nothing but if, if cyclone e square by 2q nd now the analysis which is important which is in your syllabus listen to this analysis very carefully if you increase the doping concentration your vz value decreases if you increase the doping concentration vz value decreases inversely related inversely re related but that means what by increasing impurity concentration i am adjusting the voltage value for zener diode now look here carefully zener breakdown yahan pe hota tha we are getting our zener voltage here 
मतलब वोल्टेज इंक्रीज करते 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 एट दिट्स पॉइंट ब्रेक डाउन हो जाता था आई वॉन्ट कि अगर ये थ्री पे होता था आई वॉन्ट कि मेरा ये अगर ये माइनस थ्री वोल्ट में होता था आई वॉन्ट टू आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड माई जीना ब्रेक डाउन एट माइनस वन वोल्ट You got my point. So for that, I need to increase this doping concentration. You got this point. So in order to adjust or in order to control the general voltage, or basically in order to minimize this general voltage, you need to increase the doping concentration. So through that, you can adjust the general voltage. Okay, general breakdown. Now this is your graph or avalanche breakdown, and this is your. जीनर ब्रेकडाउन एंड दिस स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट इज कॉल्ड एज नी करेंट ना मूविंग टू आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट लुक योर केयरफुली योर जीना ब्रेक जीनर जीनर डायोड ऑल्सो वर्क एज वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर योर जीनर जीनर डायोड इज ऑल्सो वर्क एज वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर ना द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ ना द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ हाउ यू गोइंग टू यूज इट एज अ वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर ना लिसन टू दिस केयरफुल लिसन टू दिस केयरफुली दिस इज योर लोड दिस इज माई लोड दिस इज माई लोड दिस इज माई load this is my load so in order to protect this load you need to connect a jener diode parallel to the circuit parallel to this load now if any fluctuation happens due to strong electric field that means any fluctuation happens in current current is proportional to electric field na so if any fluctuation happens through current so that means what jener jener diode is only dependent only dependent on strong electric field is only dependent on strong electric field so if any fluctuation happens in current due to this that means fluctuation is happening through strong electric field that means the breakdown will happen jaldi jaldi your breakdown will happen jaldi jaldi in case of jener diode your breakdown will happen faster so ye breakdown ho ke breakdown ho ke short ho jayega breakdown ho ke short ho jayega aur sare current through flow ho jayega current is through flow ho jayega aur aapka load will be protected your load will be protected you understood this point that is why we called it as jener uh, diode is also used as voltage regulator you understand this point now the last point listen to this carefully during the fabrication of avalanche diode so there is nothing like this much amount of thing is there in your syllabus always remember this during the fabrication of avalanche diode just keep in your mind avalanche diode is always dependent on avalanche diode ke depletion layer the depletion layer of avalanche diode is always 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 dependent on heat energy variation of very very much amount of heat energy that is why you always during the fabrication always keep in your mind the junction of the diode must withstand the rise in temperature the junction of the diode must 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 withstand the rise in temperature then you can make then you can form an an avalanche diode okay with this we are done with today's lecture thank you so much for your patience if you have any question query feedback or suggestion for this video or this channel feel free to write it down below in the comment box and if you want more and more videos like this give us a thumbs up give a click on the like like button and do subscribe to our channel jail gate es lecture see you in the next lecture of the summary of avalanche breakdown and gina breakdown till then bye